I have with me a special guest who I saw at Champions Cup. She's a good friend, and uh, I always appreciate uh, the time that she gives to sharing her story and all the good media that she's got. If you're uh, into streaming video games, you might even know her. <laughs> Which I need to catch some of these streams. This good friend that I'm talking about is none other than Haley King, and we're going to bring her in and talk about the discs in her bag. What's going on, Haley? Hey, what's up? Well, good to see you. We're here to talk about your in the bag. Take it away. Tell us what uh, what you're throwing these days. So I'll just start off with my putters. I'm putting with the classic KC Fire Vice. A lot of people say they're super slick, but I think they're perfect for my hands, especially in these like 90 degree days. They get a little gummy, so they're a little tacky then, um, but not too much. And they're pretty overstable putters, so you can throw them as a driving putter as well, but I just choose to putt with them. Next, for my throwing putters, my new favorite one right now is this Sweet P2. It's an S line and it's 175 grams. This thing is legit 10, 11 years old. I got it from B. Paul McBeth. So this was in his bag and I still can't turn this thing over if I tried to. It's, it's amazing. For my approach shots, I like to use my P3X as well. This is a goal line, so it's going to be a little bit stable. It's max weight at 175, and it's just a touch less stable than the other P2. So this is a P3X, not a P2, my bad. So it's a little bit more uh, straighter than the P2 because that one is very overstable. Where this one is just, it fits in my hand better. So when I'm throwing standstills, I'm going to throw this one versus the P2s. People associate the P2 with the Firefly. Would you Would you say that's true? Yeah, I would definitely say that's true. Yeah. Most people think of the Firefly as being a stable putter, but not an overstable putter. But it sounds like your your S-Line P2 is a little overstable. It is definitely overstable to say the least. I Yeah, I absolutely love this thing. I've been trying my best to turn it over and it's never happening. So how does that compare to, say, a Star AVR X3? Well, I think the flights are probably very similar. It's just how the disc feels in your hand. So the P2s in that line, the bigger rims feel a little bit better than the AVR X3 where it's a little sharper. Gotcha. Thanks for the rundown. I do not flick those discs. Those are backhand only. And my approach shot disc is the Champion Toro at 173 to 175 grams. This disc, I mean, you see every Innova player has this disc, right? It's a key disc in the bay i can throw it in wind and it's always going to fade it's very reliable and i mean it never rolls like you couldn't ask for anything better in approach disc for real so why would you choose the toro over the pig or the gator i feel like the toro is just a lot more torque resistant and it feels really good in the hand the gator is a little faster so for me that's more of a mid-range disc than an approach so i do standstills with the toro for the Gator, I'm throwing that off the tee. I'll move to my mid-ranges now. We have the Star J. came out this year, pretty recent now. A lot of people are starting to discover it. Hannah and Evelina gave me one of them, and I tried it and instantly went in the bag. So this disc is absolutely amazing. It's stable, but it's not over-stable, so I like to throw in a little hyzer so this disc just pops up to flat and then just cruises. Sometimes fades. Most of the time, it just sits pretty straight really really good mid-range i would suggest getting that and that is another disc i backhand only i feel like this is a fun fact um i have certain discs that i only forehand and certain discs i only backhand it's just a weird comfortability thing like i'll have two destroyers or something and one's only flick and one's only backhand i will not yet it's the same mold but for some reason yeah that makes especially when you say destroyer to me that makes total sense and i could be completely out of my mind but because of the rotation of the disc and the way it hits and the, the, the abrasions that it gets because of the rotation angles, yeah, that makes total sense to me. I could see how if you took your forehand destroyer and if you threw it backhand, its, it's reaction as it seasons in is going to be different than the forehand. Wow. Hey. Maybe you stumbled onto something that is totally unique and awesome. So good for you. <laughs> I love it. My next mid-range is a disc that I do generally flick only, and that's the Champion Gator. 
It's max weight, so it's 175. Um, this disc, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a gainer is, but if you don't, it's an overstable mid-range that, I mean, you really can't beat. You'll never turn it over. It's just very trustable. It's, I don't know. I've always loved Gator. It was one of the first mid-ranges I threw, and it's cool to come back here on Innova and just be able to throw it again, you know. That is it for the mid-ranges. Now we're going to go to fairways. I have the amazing Star Roadrunner. It's 169 grams. It's getting pretty beat in. It's pretty flat now. So this thing is flippy. To throw rollers, I'm not going to be throwing this in the sky. So this one always stays in the bag. has so many uses. My next little bit more stable, well, definitely more stable disc is the Star Hawkeye. I wouldn't say it's an overstable disc at all, but this disc is a point and shoot. You throw it flat, it's going flat, and it's just going to keep going. And it has so much wide. I still need 400 feet, and there's seven speed. It can't even get a nine speed, 400 feet. So it just tells you how good this disc is. Lots of glide, lots of speed. Very good disc in the woods as well. I absolutely love the Halo Hawkeye because it is a more stable version of the Star Hawkeye and really torque resistant with it being in the Halo plastic. Push one flat and that thing just goes. So if you want a disc that goes straight and is really easy to throw, I would definitely pick up a Halo Hawkeye. Did some field work with Bradley Williams today and he helped me out. I was starting to get into the T-Bird 3s. He gave me this Star T-Bird 3 and it's 170 grams. Supposedly, this is the perfect run. You have to get them between 169 and 171 grams. They have to be a little flat and star. And these discs, like I was just throwing them, and it's it's a more stable version of the Star Hawkeye. It's very easily controllable that you can literally just put outline and it's gonna go there. It does have a little bit of fade, so it's very trustable. I did mention the Metal Flake T Bird. This is it. I mean, it's max weight, so it's 175, champion, metal flight. This thing is brand new, so it's very overstable. So if it's 20 mile hour winds, I'll be throwing this one instead of the star. My overstable fairway is going to be the Firebird lines. I have this champion, I believe it's Color Glow champion, and it's 171 grams. Super flat, but... This one is one of my more straighter Firebirds. Um, I like to forehand this one a lot because it's super comfortable. I can mush on it, pops up to flat, push you straight, and just dumps. Like a classic Firebird dolphin, right? If I don't know what to throw, I'm going to throw this one that's just super comfortable in the hand, and I know what it's going to do. For the crazy wind, I have my Halo Firebird. It's 173 grams. Everybody who's thrown this Halo Firebird knows what the Halo Firebird does and always wants to get more because... There's not another disc like this. Like, I don't think there's a single Firebird that is like this. It is very overstable, extremely torque resistant. I mean, it's a meat hook. And everybody, like, we all need a meat hook disc in the bag. So this is the one you want. Next, for my further most long distance control driver, some call it a distance driver, is the Thunderbird. I will not use this as a distance driver. It's Brand new, so it's overstable. This disc, I do like to flick sometimes, mainly backhand. It's an overstable, fast driver for me. So if I need something at like 380 feet, I'm going to throw this. I like to throw harder with slower discs because it's a lot more controllable for me. So I'll throw my Thunderbird instead of a driver in that case. But these are good. My first most overstable disc is the Kelvin Halo Destroyer. I believe this is from last year's run. Yep, last year's run. These are the most overstable destroyers to be made. Nice and pop top. This thing will not turn over in the wind. Uh, I will be able to trust it on both backhand and sidearm. Um, I notice in the wind a lot, backhand or forehands tend to turn over a little bit. So this one is not turning over. This disc is incredible. Alex Russell Destroyer. This thing is dope. I just got it recently. Got the cat march signature on there. Good old good luck. This destroyer is a throwable destroyer for me, so I can actually throw it flat or a little bit on hyzer, pops up, and just carries and always stops out. Super trustable. Classic destroyer. Next, I have a couple star wraiths, bottom stamps. They are 170 grams. Very cool dies by my friends down in Florida at Double Eagle Disc Golf Shop. Little shout out. Wraiths are a straight distance driver. They're super reliable. So I like to throw a little bit on hyzer. So I put these on hyzer, pops up to flat, pushes to the right, and then eventually fades out. And 
I've thrown my furthest distance with wraiths, so I will always reach a wraith for distance shots. Super trustable, and they go a mile. Like even even more so than uh, a seasoned destroyer. See, I feel like uh, probably a seasoned destroyer I'll take first, but I don't really like seasoned in discs. I like pretty new discs, so that's why. I'll that's a pretty fun fact right there. I never remember you saying that. Now that you say that at Champions Cup, you said you liked the idea of if you lose a disc, you want to pull one off the shelf in the bag and you're you're off and running. Exactly. Yep. It makes it easy. If you lose one, go get a new one. You're good. You'll be able to play. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all that's in my bag. 